that shit looks fine. I ain't about that a lot. Shit looks fine. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. How do I run? I'm just following her. I want to see how they're going to carry all this shit out. Watch out. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Wow, this shit glitch could end up in crime. Cyber life, okay. Spider-Man now. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Of course, it's up to me. So basically there's just one route, huh? So this is the best one.
There's nothing else. What am I? Okay, that took me a while. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. You know it, baby girl. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. Yo, is that a what's her what's her name? You were trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! First the drone, now this. Awesome. My luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Isn't that what's her name? From Tyler's Friday Night Lights. Uh -huh. What's her name? I forgot. Driving crazy. She's in Titans. What burger cream? I bet it's a joy. Oh. Bad song. It's Connor. I think it's got backfired. That's all we can carry. Let's go. 
Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. I'll just, this is me, Marcus. Chance. It's too risky. Me and the baby girl do it. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling the map. Okay, now I do the blackout then, but I don't know. I don't know. Too good. Too good. Did you get it? Nice. It is, sir. I'm pretty sure it is, sir.
Good thing I didn't kill them. Not that I would have backfired if I killed them or threw them. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We had bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Yeah, baby girl. I came to Jericho because what's her dad's killer, dude? Your androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Oh, that is because we are our Jericho. Dude was killing me. I know what Satchel is. What's her name? Pretty sure it's her. I want to see how many people did not take the truck. So what's that? Two percent did okay. How about uh bye? Uh, we go on, yeah. Yeah, so. Seven, seven, nine percent say yes, okay. Okay. 50%. Okay. But before we just kill me, I know I can't remember her name. No me. Tell me I don't know her name. What's pass? Oh, she's back? I gotta see what's going on. Not episode two. Yes. Let's kill him and we don't know what his name is. Her name is Minka Kelly. Yeah, that's what it is. Minka Kelly. Her. Uh, that's what she is. It's killed me, my man. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. 
Heck is a friend now. Okay, let's go. Elden Club. Sounds like my kind of club. Androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. A research. Connor, the fuck are you doing? Research. I'm researching. Coming, I'm researching. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, hey, I'm fine, but this man's over. Right. Investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gallon's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Oh, yes. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. Oh, this bitch. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Fuck. Night, Lieutenant. Time to send the victim. I'll send the joy first. Okay. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Okay, I still don't get the importance of that, but... <laughs> there you have Colonel. Okay, he was Can we try this right here? The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh. Some questions. Are you able to speak? Is he? Is he 
did. Tell me what happened. He started hitting me again and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. No, he says... said there was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. Almost, I'm just no. saying. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and go all their way. They ran into any trouble with androids before? No way. Something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Come on, we're friends. Expense account. Purchase confirmed. Evil Club wishes you a pleasant experience. Wasn't the magic there? Can you just open it? Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Blue hair, Tracy headed towards ventures. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. What am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you changed your mind. Uh, Let's try this one. This better be. Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path.
There she is. investigation of my career. No. I lost its track again. I've spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Okay, can I come up? You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive. There she is. What? No. I lost its track again. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Okay. Wait. Oh. I'll take it from here. I thought I was gonna make it. Great. Probably a dozen of it. Yep, that's what I thought. Shit, we're too late. I saw blue hair one right here. Oh, yeah, because she, she got hit, right? That's something that's disgusting. Is this it? No, that one had short hair, right? Christ, look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. They have to curl less with this demo.
Why wasn't doesn't let me go over there? The fuck? All right, nine again. People are fu fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Yeah. You know, Sounds great to me. Stink. Because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. What was that? I still think that blue hair one's the one. Oh, how come I didn't see this blue boy, Trump? I'm not one to hate a girl part. Oh, shit. Can't have you want a piece of this? Come on. You don't want a piece of this. Yeah, that was stupid. Come on, can't, can't handle this. Get out of here. Come on, come on. I'm sure. I'm sure. I wasn't not gonna shoot. I had to shoot. Why? She was coming for me. What are you talking about? Kill her. Are you fucking blind? She had nothing to do with any of this. She was fucking trying to kill me. What are you talking about? When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. 
scared. How can you be scared of an angel? I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. See, if you just would have come to us, this wouldn't happen. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed. After this is your fault. Until he stopped moving. Just saying, this is your fault. Yes, I killed him. An eye for an eye, you know what I'm saying? I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. What? Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you... You've taken her away from me. Yeah. She shouldn't have tried to kill me. I love her. I loved her. My God. Wait, he's fucking distrusting me? They were trying to kill us both. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to see the percentage on that. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to see how many people spared into it. Get the fuck out of here. Really? It's pretty close. I won the fight because her. I mean, I'm not sorry. He were trying to kill me. Luther, Alice, and Carol. Oh no. Oh, autonomous on on. Uh, it's pretty cold. Uh, These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Larko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie, or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. I mean, you had it. House for yourself. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Of course it did. Of course it did. Why does it that easy? This doesn't look good. You think? It's not an electric car. What's this? Mm. Sounds like a radiator, bro. It's an electric car. What are we going to do? Electric cars don't use radiator. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Stay around here, Carol. Oh, I can move.
Iris Cole, Venture Park. Dude, if we get attacked, I swear. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Okay, okay. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. You think? I, I'm checking this because well, just in case I miss something, but uh, it's gonna be all the way in the back. For sure. There's a house right here. Or whatever this is. Oh. Of course it's boarded up. What is that, a boat? I did, there's nothing. What kind of go? So I'm messing, but I'm pretty sure that's a building I have to go to. Luther, give me a hand over here. Oh, never mind. I'll handle this. She's impressed. Why do I have a feeling like Luther's not gonna make it? Go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. What is this one here? Is Russia going to all angels ban that for music pro I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Oh yeah, I'm cramming this gun. Something's coming here, right? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Girl, you haven't ate shit. Cookies? This place has been abandoned for maybe years and what a
She looks kind of like Jennifer Lawrence. I'm missing something. That's what she reminded me. She reminded me of Jennifer Lawrence. Do you think we'll be like them someday? No, I don't think so. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, stupid shit. Great the story teller. Very sad. Then she met a robot huh. who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. Very good. To try to find a better life. 
They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all I'm good at this far time. Along the way, they met. Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Mm. I'm a... They reach the place they I don't think that's gonna happen, but I don't think that's gonna happen now that I trust. Always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Damn, you should ask for a story. I'm giving you a story, little girl. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, loser? Yes. Yes, of course. Watch your capsules. Sleep tight. One of the bed bells, boy. Hey, Luther. She's a sweet girl. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes. Uh -huh. She's very brave. Dude, honestly, is this? Have you ever heard of RA9? Is this different lords? It sounds like her. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. But if RA9 never comes, what if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Cara! So much for being safe. here before the park closed okay the deviants frighten you but sometimes humans come to hurt us so we wanted to see who was there what are you doing here we were looking for shelter for the night we'll be gone tomorrow a little girl we haven't seen one for a long time children used to love to come and see us she looks sad <laughs> my guy you just scared her difficult we have something to show her Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. It's freezing cold. I don't think you have any choice. Oh my god. Come on, Kara. I right, can't turn this shit on. Oh, that's cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie. The little one can climb 
on board. The carousel is about to begin. Just freezing cold. Are you kidding me? It's too cold for the girl. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. How the the people ever shoot the androids? Let me see this. Oh. Grab guy. Put up fire. Okay. Okay, I'm back with Connor. Other players, Connor. Badass. Wait. We've been out here for a while. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. There's no question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Dude. Oh, man, I don't want to ask this. Fuck. Oh, man. Fuck, I don't know what to ask. Either one, I think it's going to be a bad question. Fuck. Why are you so determined? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Mm. Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Oh, I didn't want to ask that question. Before, before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. Trauma. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. 
Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. I thought you hated androids. In love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Let's go. Drink with, Let's go. Or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotions. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Okay. I'll pay you two percent. Really? Thanks. I'm Marcus, right? Yeah, sure. I am the R and I. Okay. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? <laughs> Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. Of course it is. We need to go. Oh, look at my god. Look at how fly shit. We'll plan 
the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access 47th floor, request access to the reception. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Smart watch. Just pay bill. That's a two bills. And last one will be What's the last one? Which is this computer? Am I missing something? Her shoes, something? She's short? What the? Paper, no. I must be missing something. I must be missing something, dude. Dude, there's nothing else. So am I getting glitching or what? There's something missing here, dude. One, two, three. There you go. What the hell is this? 
bad. Honestly. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. That was not that was. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Okay, that's not how we're gonna my dumb up. Let's grab some glasses. Should we rest some right? Can be baffled. Going. That's almost a good place. Oh, okay.
Oh, come on, in, not soon. I need your help. Okay. Open fire escape. I'm gonna look it up as if these are the answers of things with fun. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Dude, this is, it feels like a mission impossible. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. No, no, this really feels like Mission Impossible. A lot. Okay. A little bit faster. Hey, was that Spider Man? This cool. Oh, no. Sorry, purple, too.
I just don't get why we couldn't go through the fire axes. Let's do this. Why does he have a disguise? No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must... What are you doing? That's fine. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Hey, but I have to decide what I'm gonna say. He's gonna say, "Oh shit." I'm the leader. Okay, no. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. Yes, sir. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And 
the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Yes, sir. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! I I ain't leaving nobody behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If I'm the leader, I can't leave nobody behind. I can't move my legs. Chop them off. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. What? Kill. Oh, fuck. What the kill? I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Oh, I can't kill him. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. That is so cool, dude. I'm still wondering why you couldn't push him off the court. interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Damn, dude, I hope you fuck up. All the seven people decided to kill the android. Damn, this was a long one, yeah.
Okay. Swat him song, okay. I wish I could see. Try to save Simon. I saved him. Simon saved, yeah. The roof. Forty eight percent shows to leave Simon again. Okay. Dude, I wish I could see the other. Okay, I'm back, Connor. I like Connor. Oh, again with the Oracle. Oh shit. I oh, love shit. I really gotta take a path vessel. It was just in the um, Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. And yeah, I'm the one that's push on paddle. Are you an android? Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem Baffled. lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Thunder. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Okay, she trusts me, okay. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. 
They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? Well, you're a human investigating humans, dumbass. Went through everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Oh, uh, yeah. What a bitch. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Big Ben's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. To the fish and cordon. Yeah, we know that. You are a spare part. I'm missing something. Three, that's two. There we go. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Not like God is like a boy scout. Oh, this is the Sam George, right? Is he gonna recognize that? Is he gonna recognize that? They didn't 
break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. That was, that was what I was saying. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Why am I missing TV? State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. You don't remember. Have you accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. yourself up maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you how do I know which one is it should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you you're going to be switched off we're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! I already know what it is. It's the one on the left, right? The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything.
It's either the one on the right or the left. What says it? Yeah, it's this one. I know it's all. Yeah, dude, I had to say. No. Dude, I don't know if I should find. I let him live. I know I let him live. The people let him live. Come on, check. Stance. Damn, it would have gone full circle, huh? Probably better choose it. Probably better by the time. I don't like the storyline. Damn, that's a spam of this new Trump. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. 
what's your name? Alice. Just a fever, right? Let me go to sick. She's running a fever. Yep. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Yeah, Adam, come on. We go all day. Um, I'm fucking attitude. So you went this way, and then you went this way. Ooh. That's good, though. All right, that's good. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I'll stay here. Where's my game, Maggie? It's lagging a little bit. Why? I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Good chill, little man. That's playing. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Hopefully. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. Oh, Canada. We didn't do anything wrong. Hate us. Scared. We're scared. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. That's so true. Just talk to each other. They'd see we're not bad. Let's miss it. Let's miss it. But I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. Yeah, I don't think you ever heard anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Why is that working? Oh, that's what I was saying. I'll stay with her a while. Which is a little shrimp. There she is. I didn't get your name. Your Cara. Business. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. Yes, sir. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. 
My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I, I think that guy's gonna betray us. Not really at all. We heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. What android speech? It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What now? I thought you said there was them two. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Can I get through? We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Will I do without her? No robot, my guy. So there are three more adult robots here. Let's let them be. He's uh, saving us. Oh my God! What is she doing? Oh. Uh, Mind your business. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kat? Is she just sick? Yes. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. I knew they like that kid. Police find them here. We'll go to prison, Mom. That kid's, that kid's pissing me off, dude. Prison. Adam, we've already talked about this. I, oh no! I won't back down this time. Adam, shut the fuck you up. You ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines. They are alive. I'm alive. You're alive. They, they're nothing. Adam, I'm about to punch you. None of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help I'm these people. Leave friends. it. That's enough, Adam. Leave That's enough. Fuck you. Shit. I'm about to punch you. What? Them saying what? 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 Where you going? Where you going? Oh my god, the controls. Don't mind him. He's gonna rat us out, I can really tell. Sometimes he just boils over. He looks like a fucking snitch. It's been hard since his dad passed away. 
He's gonna run us out. I already know. Man, let's go. Yeah, he's gonna run us out. Some idiot. Got it. I lost the bus crossing the border. What? So what's my next objective? Wow. Okay. This I don't get this magazines. What the hell is this for? Or less. Yeah, she hasn't seen the, the. There is widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Oh, look at the damn snitch. Okay. I don't know what I'll talk to. Talk to Adam. What? I don't want to talk to Adam. Police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. Open it. I knew it. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Oh my god, this kid's gonna fucking... Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Oh, he's gonna see the. Um. What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. It, it belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. on the wrist. This has to be the close. Shit. Don't move. No, Luther. Oh man. That was totally my fault.
Uh, wait, can I? Oh. Fuck! Oh. oh, man! I fucked up. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. I fucked up, man. What blue blood? I never even seen no blue boy blood. This is bullshit, dude. Ah. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence Let's make a killer. I just said that, sir. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution. That's sir, dude. The man is a slave. Oh, 100% that's sir. If you're willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! Act leader, come on. And now what are we going to do? Relax. I got some control. We built your future. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Yeah, this will put you hundred percent her. Will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. She wants them. Why can I run? Look, this way, quick. It's okay, they're gone. Yeah, I can see that. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Here. Yeah, I've been here before. I think it's the same spot. You are free. What we are to them. Oh my god, dude. There's merchandise on display in a shop window. Can we get a job done? Why is this room so hot? Let's get him out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Good so far. Sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. You're free.
soon be with us. Come on, I can't be wasting time on this. I thought that was that's why. <laughs> Exactly what we need to ram this door. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. Shouldn't be too difficult. You're free now. should bother us now. Of course, it's going to be the last one. Okay. soon find out. You see the alarm system? There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in.
Yeah, we know it's truck. I thought we get in there though. Don't just ram it with a truck. I mean, it's just whatever, dude. That makes no sense. I know plus this. Like ready to make some noise. gonna be here any minute we gotta go wait marcus we can't just leave our people behind it's too late north we failed oh i'm we did it all teams succeeded our people are free we're heading back to jericho shit we screwed up our people are still prisoners in that fucking store and it's all our fault no it's my fault i missed this at least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? What the fuck? You knew what you were doing. I did. Bitch, you were you're right there. Is that enough for you? No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. Can we redo? Have no choice. Oh my god. How was I supposed to know there's a fucking alarm there? Am I the only one who fell? Please, huh? I'm not serious. 12%, oh my god. What do you do? Oh, great, you're a bit pumped. Hank is my friend. Right, I'm taking a bullet for the guy, so if he's not my friend, that's fucked up. predecessor was unfortunately destroyed but cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it you died in my arms and now you're back here as if nothing happened 
Fuck you. What? Kamsky. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Was her. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank. I'll let you see who's just model off. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. Okay. My head hurts. Wait, she's barefoot. I'll let Elijah know you're here. But please make yourself comfortable. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Amanda. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. I bet. Is that it? Yes, we do have to. Elijah, we'll see you now. Damn. No potter. Mr. Kamsky. Just a moment, please. The fuck? Where is he at? First of all. Oh, there he is. Oh, I thought it was naked, dude. It's the same girl. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? 
perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Well, I don't know if this guy's philosophy. Time. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Okay. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. That's a real creep, piece of plastic containing a human. Or a living being. Oh, it's gonna shoot her right. With a soul. Oh, so. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. I'm killing it. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. Oh man. If I kill her, what's his name? Our living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh man! Oh, do I shoot? Oh, I don't. Ah, oh, she's too pretty to kill. No, she's too pretty to kill. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. She's so pretty, was it? I couldn't shoot her. She's too so pretty. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I could By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Oh, let's see, I shot her. 
Fuck, oh no, man. Should I have shot him? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Let's go ahead. I know if I didn't shoot her, he's going to upset me. I want to see what we're Okay. Spirit cord. What's this? 85% spirit cord. Okay. Ah, uh, so the other one. 15%. Kilder? Damn, that's what the shit. I'm back to Marcus? Yeah. That was me. I was wondering where you were. Okay, she's back to liking me. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone. Florida, let's go. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. What's this If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? It was good. It was good. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Hmm. Sounds like she was a stripper. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was just my companion yesterday, my friend. I was nothing. A doll and a distributor programmed to satisfy humans. Yeah, I thought so. Designed for their pleasure. I thought so. One day I was with a man who rented me. Was she crying? And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. Hmm. 
Yeah, I do see why it hurt. What was that? I, I saw your memories. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. I thought so. Death of that man, I felt like I was there with you. Lover? Damn, that was fast. North. <laughs> what the fuck? This is over there, good boy. Now what? Oh, Simon. I thought he was going to try to kill me for a sec. Now what? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed. Why have I seen this actor before? Those of us can prepare to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. Is that it, too? I like it. Some, some images, images are so realistic and cartoonish. You're awake now. Are there more androids here? I don't think there are more here. Let's go. Free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. You're free. Shit, what's wrong with you? Do as I say, you piece of junk. I need to block the street.
You don't have to obey them. You're free. Não quero Jesus. I can do it just with my a carol. Okay, I like this so far. Let's really try to make this guy look like God. Ooh, I get to choose a symbol. Mm. I like. I miss him. Yeah. 